Good people, welcome again to the second video of electrical material. In this case, I'm giving you the actual visual pictures of real material that we use in the uh, installation. So today I'll be taking you through materials but that are meant for solar installation. Remember, solar installation is also a facet in electrical installation. I said electrical installation is wide field. So we have solar installation, electrical fence, all those things that we do, domestic installation, lighting, power outlet, all those will be going through it. But first, let me take you through the solar installation. So with solar installation, we usually start with what we call the PV module. Yes, the PV module, the name PV stands for photovoltaic module, the one that you call solar panels. So solar panels are majorly, for outdoor purposes, are majorly two. So we have the monocrystalline solar panel. This one, as you can see, is so dark. This one is monocrystalline solar panel. I'll come later to explain what, what it's all about. Then we have this one that looks so blue, little blue. This one is polycrystalline solar panel. So this one is polycrystalline solar panel. Remember that despite the size, uh, uh, the physical size, they all have same rating. They're all rated at 100 watt, 18 volt solar panel. So we'll come to there. Then from the solar panel, we usually go to what we call charge controller. Usually the solar panel takes power to the charge controller. Then from the charge controller, we go to the battery. So this one, as you can see, this one is solar battery. As you can see, this one is solar battery, and this one is a flooded solar battery. It has the fluid. So the, the, the company is uh, chloride excited, but uh, I'll be taking it. So the, for what you need to note about the battery is the ampere hour, and what you need to note about the... The solar are becoming less is the short circuit current and the uh, power as well as the voltage output. And then we have the solar inverter. In this case, to, with me here, I have the hybrid solar inverter. A very important that nowadays we use it in home solar system. You need to understand it more. So I'll be coming later to show you on how to do and more about the solar uh, hybrid inverter. So let me quickly take you. Like I said, I will come back to. Uh, PV module or the solar panel, the way you call it. So the monocrystalline is usually the most efficient and the most uh, the one that we usually recommend that you take. Usually, when you are using a, a PV uh, monocrystalline solar panels, you are likely to use a few numbers compared to polycrystalline. So what I want to show you is actually on the patch. So allow me to take you through the patch quickly. So as you can see on the patch behind. So the, the, you can see it, is, uh, it gives maximum power of 100 watt. Open circuit voltage is 21.24. Uh, but the load voltage, is the, the one that is there, is, you can see is 18. Uh, then we have the short circuit current of 6.12. Then we have current maximum, uh, which is uh, 5.56. So you can see all that. And the uh, other thing you need to see behind the, is just below the test condition and the, the 1,000 H per square meter. You, you we'll be talking about that in the next videos and when we'll be talking about solar. So that is a little bit about. So check the, the, I, uh, the, uh, the short circuit current, the ICS, and uh, check on the other side. This one now is a polycrystalline. And from polycrystalline, the patch is very clear. You can see it's also 1,000. The... the Open circuit voltage is almost similar, but you, you can see the short circuit current. And remember, in electrical field, the current is the key in anything. So with the current, you are ready to heat your, your water. With the current, the iron box will work. With the current, your fridge will work. But the voltage is just the pressure to push the current. If, if we were to talk in reference to water, then the water is the current. But the pressure pushing the water through the pipes, that is the voltage. So what is very important mostly of it is the current, even though the voltage and the power should be standard. So you can see these two, uh, these two solar panels or the PV modules, uh, they have the same rating, but you, you have realized that the short circuit current is different. So that one is very important. So when you are going for the uh, PV module first, check on the rating. Uh, the rating varies from 50 watts to 300 watts. And even nowadays, we have even the solar that goes even to 1,500 watts. So you, you, you don't have to worry about that. Another one you need to worry about is the short circuit current. Very important. The voltage, in most cases, because we are, it's giving out the DC voltage, as you can see here, we have two. This one is for uh, the positive 
and the negative as you can see. So the solar uh, PV modules gives out DC uh, a current or let me say DC components. So it gives DC voltage and DC current. Now let's go direct to the charge controller. Because usually after from, from the, the PV module you are likely to go to the charge controller. So we, I have with me here two charge controller from different brands, but they usually they have the same thing. So I'll, I'll, I'll quickly go with the first one that is correctly labeled. So you can see from this one, it has six terminals, and the terminals, the first two terminals uh, have positive and negative, and that icon, the, first, the icon that is from the module. So after you have connected your solar panel out there on the roof or somewhere on the stand, so you, you'll take the cables running from the positive and negative to the charge controller in this slot, these two terminals. And then the, 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 the second and the third terminal is for the one that takes you to the battery and will take you to the battery the way it is here on the, on the positive and the negative uh, terminal. Up to that, you have already uh, installed the solar module to the charge controller and to the battery. Now the battery will start charging. That's what it means. So the charge controller, as the word say, it controls overcharging and discharging of the battery. Understand? You can take the, 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 the conductor or the cable direct from the solar panel to this, but now the thing is, you will not be able to control the charging voltage as well as the charging current, and you will never uh, be able to know if the, if the battery is full or not. So you, you can damage the battery easily. So that's why we need the charge controller. Then the third one, as you can see, uh, that is the, the third set of uh, terminals, that is the for the fifth and the sixth. That one can give you what we call the DC components. The one you can see with the bulb on it, so it gives you the DC components. But automatically, you can take that from there and take it to there. Uh, you can connect with this, or taking this, you can use that as for the inverter. So thank you, and let me take you through the hybrid inverter shortly.